is a mukbang, mukbang. This mm -hmm. just turned into a mukbang. This is like this is like my my portion of the vlog now. Just took the best shower of my life. Oh my god, the moving truck is here. Oh my god. So we hired Roadway Moving today, and they will be helping us move. And so they're actually early, y'all. The whole process with the Roadway. Oh, hold on. Hello. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay, awesome. Yes, I saw your message come through. Um, I believe my husband went out there, but I don't know if he waved you guys down. All right, they are here. I mean, they sent me like one of those little links, almost like as if it was like a Google Map link to like let me know when they were arriving. And it said like they were gonna arrive like um earlier than the time that we had originally uh, gave them, which was 9 a.m. Now, um, we are in shambles here. Not in shambles, we're not in shambles. We're not in shambles. I'm just saying, behind y'all right now is, is quite a few boxes. And the cool thing is that like, we don't really even have that many things, those like that many things here because it's like a small like apartment, thank God. So it's not really like that serious. Uh, I should have just had my earrings out because Y'all, these sneakers are so comfy. Oh my gosh. Um, Cause now I had everything out except like, I did have my jewelry. So I have my jewelry with me, but I should have had my earrings as well. So let me show you guys the status. This is what's happening here. Like literally y'all see, and the movers are outside. So let's get to it. How fast are they going? Right, right? <laughs> <laughs> Our movers are moving. Okay. Man of God got me some brekkie. And I'm gonna eat because I don't really have anything to do. And and I like that for me. I love that for me. All right, let me sanitize my hands so I can eat. I've been touching doors and knobs and all that good stuff. But the movers are moving so fast. This has been such an incredible process because one, they were so clear on all of the guidelines, all of the tips and all of the, the things beforehand so that when the day moving day came, it'd be super simple easy going for them to um come in and help you move as quick as possible i, t I kid you not within the first um 10 minutes they literally like the the sala like the living room area was completely like uh, pretty much 90 percent out of the living room which was great because we have a small apartment here and it made it easier for them to move around man of god got me some brekkie dang he got me a big one too mm. oh my god this is so good he knows me so well i'm gonna cry <laughs> oh baby hmm? how did you know to get me the coffee one he that findeth a wife findeth means that he continues to search and learn her and and find her and learn her well and it's not just a one-time thing so if a man is not continuous continuously learning you finding you and discovering you we need to pray about that okay okay anyway that was just a little tidbit but yeah like i got a little sandwich here um when i am settled in into our new place i don't know if i'm gonna do much of like a like a home tour or anything like that like just because of privacy and things of that nature i'm sure you guys understand but i will bring you guys along the process like you guys will see you know some decor things like the kitchen and, and all of that so oh, hello everybody blessings and 
I was saying Grace that peace. that scripture says he that findeth a wife, which means that findeth is like you continue to discover and learn her and, and mm. find her. And I was saying how That's like you, even little things like this, like you know me, right? And you continue to learn of me. Mm -hmm. Things that I like, you know, all that. Yeah. Even as little as a smoothie. All right. I love it. You know that. That's good. I gotta pay attention to the details. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for giving me a little commentary. I thought you were gonna leave me hanging there. No, no, no. It's all. It's all. It's, the details are. Really I was like, good. okay, you're not gonna say nothing. That's all right. But the yes. Details. That's it, baby. Pay attention food. to the details. It'll... Wow, this is like steaming. Yeah. They actually got pretty good sandwiches. I didn't realize how good the sandwiches were. This is a mukbang. Mukbang. This mm. just turned into a mukbang. If there is one thing that I have enjoyed the most about being here, just like little, I wouldn't, I guess it's about, it's not even a bodega, it's like more of a, a juice bar, but like they started off making juices and then they moved from juices to smoothies, from smoothies to acai bowls, to sandwiches, to like pastries, to empanadas, like they pretty much expanded like every single month I felt like. Really? And so it wasn't always like... No, nah, it wasn't always like all the savory food, it was just more like fruits and it's like juices and fruits and smoothies and all that kind of stuff but wow. now they do like salads and sandwiches like they do like juice shots wellness shots all that kind of stuff um and it's like a bunch of latina women and shout out to the latina women that, that are going to be watching this but, um <laughs> and my wife right but no it's beautiful because you want to support um, you know obviously small business small small businesses obviously businesses of, of strong women and um, it's been great to be across the street from this place. They've never let me down with anything. And I mean, that's pretty hard to... You, especially for you. For food? Yeah, I mean, because He's a important. foodie person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not like I tried everything on the menu, but the things that I have explored on the menu are pretty solid. Like, Yeah. This sandwich is waiting for breakfast. I mean, no, no more than like six bucks, which... That part. That alone is like... Wow, but they're really affordable. Yeah, and the thing is, it's a big size of food. Like that, this probably <laughs> yeah. this sandwich probably could have easily been ten dollars, or close to ten dollars because of how yeah. how big it is. But I'm telling you, like the volume of people that come in and come in there, hour upon hour. I mean, like people legit double park to come to this place. Mm -hmm. Um, so now that we're moving, I guess we can tell people about it, like mm -hmm. what the actual name is. Mm -hmm. But I guess we could have it in regardless, right? If, People, yeah, it didn't really matter. Yeah, but it's called Tutti Fruity Juice Bar. And if you're in um, Weehawken or if you're in Union City or that area North Bergen, or if you're coming into the city or coming out of the city, depending on what time you're going, trust me, it is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. Um, and they open to like 5 o'clock, I think, every day. And then after 5 p.m., they, they shut down. I think it's like, and they close on Sunday. Yeah, they close on Sunday because they honor the Lord. I don't know about all that. I, I have. I, I think they just close on Sunday. I think they have a feeling that they honor the Lord. I they have we, a feeling. We should have asked them. I should ask the owner. We should go ask her before we leave today. The ladies are so friendly in there too. They know I'm like learning Spanish, so like <laughs> from time to time, excuse me, I'm, I shouldn't be eating, talking as I'm eating. So I'm trying to like enjoy this breakfast and and dialogue with you all at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is like calling, this is like my my portion of the vlog now. Yeah. You know the end of the movie. So you trying to edit my my video now? Did you guys show the bloopers. Can you see. edit my video? Cause you learn in Final Cut Pro. Hmm. We'll see. We'll we'll, we'll we'll dialogue more about that. We'll put a pin in that one. But the ladies are so nice and friendly. Um. And I'm gonna miss that too. Like they're super kind, even when they're super busy. Like they were busy this morning, and they were just like super friendly. Like they're always the same. Always. It's kind of like the Lord. The Lord's always the same, right? No matter you what season spin you're in. That thing. So I feel like when you go in there, like that's what I'm saying. I feel like they are. I don't know if they're believers or we haven't asked them if they're believers, but it would not surprise me if they if they are believers of Jesus Christ because just how they carry themselves. Yeah, the fruits of their spirit. Yeah, and it's, it's evident. Like I, you know, never any issues. Always friendly. Of always the saying spirit. thank you. There's only yeah. one Holy Spirit. There is only one Holy Spirit. Sorry, correction. But there's multiple fruits. Yeah. There's ah, multiple fruits. The fruits. 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 One spirit. Fruits. One spirit. 
Thank you, y'all. I, I appreciate my wife allowing me to have a little bit of time. Did you? Vlog. Was this your segment of mm -hmm. the vlog? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I just want to say I'm so proud of my husband. He literally shared uh, his testimony on Tuesday night with the men's group. Mm. A portion of his testimony, really, because it's just this is quite a story. Okay, you think I have a story? Yeah. Yeah. Three near life death experiences. Mm -hmm. I know, right? But the Lord is good. He's faithful, y'all. So this, Gabby, this is like super, super good. That's his baby. Don't worry. My baby. I found something to do because I already know him very well. No, no, no. How? What? I'm trying to remember how to do it. This is empty. I guess I can probably put this in there. Baby, do you remember me standing here and you standing there? Yes. Do you remember what I'm gonna, the do memory? You remember 25th night of September, 26th night, day of September, where we moved no. to a new place no. in September. No, with that mirror. The mirror, yeah, I know. You confess, you profess your love to me. I am so tired. You guys can see we have these boxes. Um, I don't even remember the last time I vlogged because it's just been a whirlwind for many reasons, right? Um, roadway moving. I mean, the process was seamless. When I tell you seamless, seamless, okay? Um, what happens is not only are we moving, right? Or have we moved? We're officially moved in. But we also are doing like DIYs and like renovations in the midst of all of that. And we ain't never done a kitchen ever in our lives, okay? You all right? You all right, babe? Okay, BRB. All right, I'm back, y'all. I just did my. I just took the best shower of my life. Oh my gosh, it's just been nonstop. And then the thing is that we're going to London next week, and laundry has to be done. I'm trying to make sure the kitchen boxes are back behind me. Everything that belongs in the kitchen, like the dishes and like the appliances and you know all of the the kitchen stuff, everything you can imagine. Are in these boxes so these boxes will probably have to live here until we actually finish the um the cabinets and, and all those things also oh my god i gotta talk fast because my memory and my my battery is dying i don't know where my charger is i have to go find it anyway i have um my skincare on already and then i have like this little pimple patch on my nose because i felt y'all know that those pimples that like are under and like it's small it's very small but like that be on your nose those be so like disrespectful like oof anyway oh my god i'm so tired i don't even know what to say like literally today was all about doing laundry um organizing like the clothing some clothing i'm just like are already like summer clothes summer's over basically at this point it's technically fall now um but summer clothes gonna pack away gonna pull out my winter clothes so that those are in a whole bunch of organizing and unpacking and like try not to feel overwhelmed because it can feel overwhelming especially when like there are deadlines that are still that still need to be met in the midst of all of this um and when you don't know where things are and granted we did a lot of organizing but once you get settled in or once you actually realize like dang now i have to go through these boxes and like sort everything and when things like the kitchen aren't ready it's like it's it's hard to live out of boxes but um i thank god that like a lot of the things that we're in need of are um are being provided for we're able to find them quickly or we're able to find someone that can give us like a solid quote to fix that thing or whatever the case is so i'll show you guys glimpse and pieces obviously like um the kitchen is just completely like we just took off the 
we demoed it well not completely but we took off the countertops because we're getting brand new countertops and um yeah y'all it's just a real thing i'm gonna try to show you guys like I don't know what footage I've gotten gotten of it or not, but I'm going to try to show you guys like before and after so that you guys can see how much we've done to it so far. And that's it. Like that's I love also I forgot to tell you guys. I feel like I talked about this before, but the gloss or gloss that you got oh, I just scratched myself that you guys see on my lips is first of all, I don't know what's going on with like there's this part of my upper lip area that is like getting a reaction right now and it's like not even a reaction it's just super dried out and it happened out of nowhere and i think it was a product that i used because the product is like a toner kind of thing and like it just like dry I, I literally know myself so well like i know my body really really well and i'm still getting to know more and more but there are just certain things that i'm like yeah that that don't sit right with me or like i don't feel good after that or like i know what i've changed in my skincare like for example and it was that one thing and although it's working great for my skin i have to just spray it first on a um cotton swab or something like that and then use it as a toner versus spraying it on my face or i also been covering my like my lips um so that you know it doesn't get on my lips but anyway i'm using the topicals slick salve it's a mint lip balm it is if you put too much it does get like kind of sticky but i love how it stays hydrated for a really 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 long time like it just stays put it feels like there's nothing you can do to like take it off and so i need that like level of like moisture um i've been loving this stuff and i'm gonna probably rebuy rebuy all the time because this stuff is amazing i should probably try to find my battery charger so that i can charge you guys up because this is not gonna work i'm excited because tomorrow i'm actually going to be a part of um this thing called the call and we're gonna be singing in times square and my church is doing like a segment a set and they asked me and i said yes so that's gonna be super fun tomorrow sunday and then we leave to london on wednesday or one of these days this week i can't even remember there are about like two days that like the man of god is gonna like be locked in for work so i'm gonna be like a little like solo traveler those two days so i'm gonna be going on lots of solo dates on those two days or i guess it's just one big solo date um but i'm gonna be going i would love to visit like some coffee shops um museums or like just something just very much something and yes i'm still on my invisalign i had to put them all back on again because my tooth is still not like rotating so we tried a different way so now we gotta see if that works you guys i just put one of these in my water these things the liquid ivs oh my god this flavor is actually really good passion fruit they have strawberry too strawberry is really good i'm about to drink one right now i just put one in my water and i'm gonna drink it right now because the thirst is real oh my god my husband just said i'm thirsty and i'm like yeah i'm thirsty too Whew. all right i'm in a yappy mood so let me hurry up and try to find the charger officially monday um you know we're leaving to london in a few days and then um so it's a lot of prep a lot of unpacking because of the move right uh, yesterday we had the event at times square our set for our church was from three to four i have basically been drinking the same cup of coffee since this morning and like it's cold at this point but alas here we are i don't even know if i'm going to drink the rest of it but i don't even know where i left off because the camera like i don't know what's going on with my memory i know what's going on 
I know what's going on. I'm running out of storage. And I have like a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of SD cards. I just don't know where they are. That's the thing. That is the thing. What was I saying? Okay, so yesterday we did the Times Square event. Such a beautiful experience, like lifting up the incense of worship and just collectively as a community worshiping unto the Lord in the middle of Times Square. I'm literally like right in front of the red stairs, steps, like right there. I mean, it was an incredible experience to be honest with you. Like, whoa. But we were only there for our set. And then we got home, we ate and tried to organize a little bit. We also tried to work on some ministry things that the Lord is just like really taking in us both, man of God and I, into like a deep season of like um, ministry or onto like another level of ministry, I guess is, is I don't even know. Um, but deeper levels of, of ministry and leadership and like all of that stuff, just in the local church type of setting. Um, and we're like really excited about that because it's just something that I just I really feel the Lord on um, serving is is a is a very big part of my makeup, if you will, serving and just really dedicating my life to the Lord and whatever he says to do. Um, with that being said, I'm on a roll with the writing for the book. I'm on I'm on track to meeting some of my closer deadlines that I have right now so i'll be sharing even more of that whenever that time comes what else was well, i don't even know what, it, what i was talking about because totally lost my train of thought <sighs> yeah there's a lot going on especially like i think mainly like right now it's all piling up because everything is like okay this ends and then this begins and then like we need to prepare for this and then we need to submit that it's just so much i know i'm speaking in a little bit of code but it's only because like i'm waiting for um i'm waiting for things to be approved so that i can go public with um just like what's happening in the next in the next few months um but it is regarding ministry so i, I hope that works <laughs> i hope that that helps you guys a little bit um <laughs> no i am not pastoring no uh yeah no um i mean jesus himself would literally have to come and like sit me down and be like okay you know what i'm saying anyway i know i'm like click clacking these nails i'm getting my nails done tomorrow so look at the new growth And it would be literally like four weeks on Thursday. But the only reason why I'm not going to just wait till Thursday is because I got to I gotta get my nails done before we're going to London. And we go to London this week. And I'll be in London by Thursday. So my girl got me in at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me to my nail appointment. And um, hopefully I find those SD cards because this is about to run out again. Yeah, yesterday was so chaotic. I don't even know like what to think of it honestly um i'm in the drive through of chick-fil-a right now there's no one behind me um but i'm getting some brekkie because i'm on my way to get my nails done i'm doing like a fall set and this is officially like london prep as well so i have to make a list i'm actually early uh to my appointment so i decided like i said to get breakfast i'm gonna park i'm about five minutes away i'm gonna park eat and I'm going to make a list of everything that I have to do today. I know I have to go get my brow pencil that I haven't had in a while. I don't know why I just didn't make the time to go get it. I was going to get press-ons and like to actually do my nails. But I'm going to my nail tech now. So I'm glad that like that saves me so much time. Um, yeah, it saves me a lot of time. But also just like. I don't have to think about doing it like it saves me mental space because i'm literally just gonna get there and like someone else is gonna do my nails and i don't have to you know what i mean like girl math that just makes sense to me even though i'm paying someone to do it it just right now it just makes sense to me brekkie is the key so we got chick-fil-a breakfast chick-fil-a um oh my gosh i really have to get something for this camera so it does not fall but i'm at a red light so it's okay we're safe um 
yeah i got this breakfast hash browns like egg what is it egg and cheese egg sauces and salt so i can't even what what am i trying to say these invisaligns i'm telling you it's a lot egg sausage and cheese sandwich oh my god lord help me and i had already had a coffee so i got like a sunjoy which is like their version of like the arnold 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 palmer <laughs> i can't i'm six minutes away um yeah i'm doing good on time so i'll check back in when i get there nails have been activated period <laughs> you have been so good you're such an amazing husband baby look at you you're quite welcome you're wowzers good. yes babe let's do this thing baby let's do this thing baby <laughs> 